What's going on, y'all? Jake here today. I'm doing something a little new. We're gonna try. Oh, that was a little weird. What's going on, y'all? Jake here today. We're gonna try something a little new. We're gonna do our first ever movie review. I told y'all I want to get into some more reaction and review content. And as a film student, I think it's important to try and articulate why things work for me or why things didn't work for me. So that's kind of what my goal is for these reviews: is to just try and speak out loud for you know what works and what doesn't work for me in this movie. Today we're going to be talking about Strange Darling, which is a serial killer thriller written and directed by J.T. Molnar. This movie's original release was in 2023, but its theatrical release is 2024. This past weekend it just came out. And the concept behind this movie is what would happen if you had a one night stand with a serial killer. That concept alone in the trailers was already intriguing enough as it was, but I promise you there's so much that they don't give you in the trailer, which is why this, in my opinion, is one of the best thrillers, and it's one of the top movies of the year that I think is going to slip under the radar. Where this movie takes you and the ride it takes you on is, I promise you will not see it coming. I'm not going to spoil anything in this review, so I'm not going to get too deep into the details. You need to experience this in a theater with a group of people, for the first time. This is this is a ride for sure and definitely uh, it's going to give you trust issues at the end of the movie. What I do want to dive into is some of the things that were amazing to me which first of all this was all shot on 35 millimeter film. Not only is this just a known fun fact about the movie but before the movie they go on and announce it in titles that this is shot on 35 millimeter film in case you did not know. And I think this being shot on 35 millimeter adds just so much character and feel to the movie that just it adds to everything that's going on. The way they shoot this is just incredible and it adds to the tension. So the way they tell the story is in six chapters but this is a non-linear way of telling the story so they start you off in the middle with like chapter three and then they jump from the end to the beginning and then you finally finish off of chapter six at the end of the movie but the way they tell this is incredible because you just all the twists and turns this movie likes to take you on, it works so well when they tell the story in this fashion. Everyone's performance in this movie was incredible. From people who maybe had maybe a minute of screen time to our two main characters, which were the lady and the demon played by Will Fitzgerald and Kyle Gallner. And the typecasting with Kyle Gallner, he's in a lot of horror films and he plays a certain type of character and he kills this role. And same with Willa Fitzgerald, they killed the roles of the lady and the demon in this movie. And you take these two great performances and you pair them with a great script. I mean, this, this is one of my favorite movies that's come out so far this year. And I might do a spoiler review version of this movie because there's so much that I'm not really able to talk about because I want you guys to be able to go in and see this movie without having any spoilers. If you've only seen the trailer in theaters like I have, then go ahead and see this movie without trying to look up any additional details. If you've never seen the trailer for it, don't even watch the trailer. Just go into this blind because you are in for a roller coaster ride. And it's definitely gonna go on my list of movies that I wish I could see for the first time all over again. And that's going to do it for my review of Strange Darling. Let me know down in the comments what you think of this kind of content, these reviews, how I did. It's my first review so cut me a little bit of slack but I'm trying a whole bunch of new kind of content to try and bring to this channel especially now that I'm starting off with such a small community. I want to be able to give you guys different types of content and see how you guys feel about it and how you interact with it. But uh, that's going to do it for the review and the popcorn today. 10 out of 10. Popcorn review. I'm beginning some popcorn reviews when I go to these theaters because today was hitting.